In this video, we will show you how to deploy Zoom using group policy, and we will deploy it in multiple ways. One of them is when we assign the policy to the computers, and the computers install the software during the startup process. And other one is when we assign the policy to users, and users then themselves decide what software and when to install. And as you can see, I'm starting this video from my GitHub page that you can find the URL in the description down below. And here you will be able to find the download URL for Zoom that we will be using in this video. And also there are other links to my other videos related to my Windows Server setup and other settings that I am using in this video. And let's get started by downloading Zoom. And for that, I will click on the link right here. And it will bring us to Zoom support page where we have uh, many different installers that we can download. And for this video, we need the MSI installer because that's the best type to use when installing software using group policy. And for that, we'll be using Zoom desktop client for meeting 64-bit MSI installer. So I will click on that. And you can also use the 32-bit one or both if you required. So next, let's go to my downloads folder. And as you can see here, we have the installation file. And now we need to move this file to the server. So I'll just copy it, go to my VMware workstation where I have my Windows Server instances installed. And I will just paste it in my desktop. And now we need to move this file from the server desktop to a network location. And for that I have my file server configured and it's named SRV02. As you can see here, it has a share named software. I will go into it and then create a folder here and I will name it Zoom. Then I will go inside and move the installation file here. And the important bit of information here is that your computers and your users need to have access to this folder. So let's check the security settings. And as you can see here, I have authenticated users uh, with read permissions in this folder. And authenticated users covers both users and computers. And if you want more details about creating a share, you should watch my video, installing file server role and preparing a share for software deployment. So now let's close this window, go to the server manager and let's start creating our group policy by going to tools and then group policy management. Here let's select group policy objects and also let's expand it and then click on it, right click on it and select new. And in this case, I will name it hmm, assign zoom and click OK. Our policy appeared here. I will right click it and click edit. And we will start by creating a policy for our computers. That means that in this case, the computer will install the software during the startup. So for that, we need to go to the computer configuration, expand policies and expand software settings and select software installation. Then right click inside, select new and click on packages. And important part here is that we need to select a file that is located located in a network share and it allows us to use a, a local file that we have on our server and it would create the group policy but computers when installing the software would fail because they don't have the access to the file so do always double check the link and see if it's a network path F for now i will just go to my file server again SRV02, the software share, the Zoom folder that we created, and select the file here. And we will leave it at assigned and click OK. And that's basically it. We have our policy created. Let's close this window. I will also go to my VMI filtering and select 64-bit OS because this is a 64-bit installation file and we don't want 32-bit uh, computers attempting to install it. 
and also we can go to details and here in GPO status we can uh, disable user configuration settings because this policy only has computer configuration settings. And that's it for creating and configuring the policy. And now the last step that's left is to uh, link the policy to our organization unit that is holding the computers on which we want to install the software. In my case, I will use this organization unit, Domain Computers 1. And for linking it, I will click and hold and then drag and drop on the organization unit. And as you can see, it appeared right here. And that's it. Now we can go to our client machine and see if this policy is working correctly. So I have prepared a client here that's also in VMware Workstation. And the first thing that we need to do is to open a command line and then do a GP update. And as you can see right here, it is saying that it detected a software installation policy and that it needs a reboot to perform the installation. So let's do a reboot. I will type shutdown uh, minus r minus t0 for the restart. And as you can see here, it is informing us that it is installing Zoom. Now it's done. Let's log into our client. And as you can see here on the desktop, we have a Zoom client. We can double click it and see if it opens up and it seems to work correctly. So that's how we deploy software when we want the computer to install it. Now let's try the other option where we assign the policy to users and users then themselves decide what software and when to install. So for that, let's go back to our server and let's create another so uh, policy. Let's right click on Go Policy Objects, click New, and this time I will name it Publish uh, Zoom, and click OK. Once again, let's right click it and select Edit. And because this time we are creating a configuration for the user, uh, we need to go to User Configuration, Expand Policies expand software settings and select user i mean software installation here let's right click it select new and click on packages and once again double check if the url here is a network path and then select your file and this time we are selecting published and click ok and we are done here now we can close this window and let's select our newly created uh, group policy here. And let's go to details and also this time let's disable the computer configuration settings because this time this uh, group policy only has user configuration in it, as you can see here. Okay. And this time we need to link it to organization unit that is holding our users. So in my case, it's the main users. And for linking it, I will once more click on the policy, hold, and then drag and drop to the organization unit and click OK. And we have our policy here. And now let's go to the other of my client computers. And as you can see here, we currently have no zoom icon on the desktop. And once again, let's open our command line and do GP update. And this time we didn't uh, need to restart the computer. And also here I have made an icon for our, I mean a shortcut for our users so that they can easily access the program installation menu. And as you can see, because we published the software, uh, we have a package here that we can double click and the installation should start. And now we have our Zoom software installed. Let's double click it. And just like in the other computer, it seems to work just fine. And that's it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more and see you in the next one.